Good morning guys. So I know it's been a couple weeks since I've posted anything. Uh, so thanks for coming back. As usual, I have no idea what's going to be on this video. It's uh, Saturday morning and the weather is supposed to be pretty nice the next few days. So I'm sure we'll be getting in all kinds of stuff. I know first thing this morning, we've actually started having calves. Uh, so we'll go up and hopefully find three or four new ones. And then I don't know what will be on after that. I am scheduled to fly next Tuesday. So based on what I get the next couple of days, the end of the video may have some flying action. But you'll just have to keep watching and see. So a couple videos ago, I showed you guys the uh, steer barn. And as you can see, they gone. So we sold most of our calves a couple weeks ago ended up with about 90 head and we were all pretty happy with the results they averaged over 700 pounds a piece and ended up bringing around $1.85 a pound so definitely in my lifetime that's the best prices we've ever gotten and I think they and my dad and Uncle Speed were happy with that as well so I know there's at least one bull calf up on the hill that we got a band uh, me and Van tried to do it last night but he only had one testicle and we tried to wrestle him around every which way but couldn't get the other one to drop so hopefully that other one's dropped by now and we can band him and he can be on his way Like we got a new calf right in front of us so we'll wait for him to start feeding hopefully distract the mom a little bit and then we'll go grab him so most of these cows are pretty calm but uh, whenever they have the calf we got to work on them for three or four minutes and some of them get can get pretty protective and i can already tell the one we're going to try and get it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So this one ain't too bad. Dan walked right up to him. He's a little bull calf. So we'll give him a couple vaccines for uh, pneumonia and tetanus. I don't know if we'll ban him right now or not. It's pretty dry. We'll probably go ahead and do it if the boss wants to. I can do it. <laughs> Hold this. Uh, get a stick here. Get up. Where's that clip? You got the clip? Nope. 
too many things to get. We got another one down here across the creek. Don't know if it's a boar heifer yet. This one's pretty mobile. He's gonna be a job. Yeah. This one's nuts. Yeah. We're gonna come up plan B for her. We got about 40 head up here and there's about 20 or so calves that were born late last year so tomorrow we're going to try to separate all them take them to the auction but before we do that we got a couple of new calves in here that we're going to try to get out of the way me and the band's up here at the top of the hill and uncle speed's down at the gate try to run him out Come on, 91. Let's roll. Yeah. Ah, turn around. Being stubborn. Come on, you idiot. Fail number two. We're gonna take a little break from the cattle. Uh, seemed to be a little bit crazy this morning, so we're gonna let everybody settle down for a few hours and uh, try again this afternoon. But after those episodes this morning, I can already tell me holding the GoPro and trying to catch crazy calves ain't gonna work out. So I'm gonna have to come up with plan B for that too.
Looks like my sister just rolled in. I'll see if I can get her on camera. What's up? Good morning. So this is my sister Casey. She uh, decided to come home for the weekend. So she used to be an Ohio State trooper for how many years? Five and a half years. Five and a half years. And so she moved on for that job. And I'm not allowed to tell you where she works, but it's for one of the uh, three-letter government agencies. So we, uh, you ready to take this beast mud around? This is a pretty Jeep. She's not gonna see the trails or the mud. She's always, I always try to keep her this clean. So no, we will not be hitting the trail. No oh, bullshit. <laughs> So before we sold the heifers there a couple weekends ago, we kept back 12 or 13 heifers as replacements. So we'll turn the bull in with these young ladies this summer, and then they should produce their first calf about this time next year. such a nice day we're gonna walk around check the fence I have no idea how many miles of fence we have but it's uh, almost an impossible job keeping up with it most of this looks pretty good uh, but we had some storms there a couple weeks ago and there's always a tree or two over the fence and never goes straight across it always seems like it falls parallel to it so instead of taking out one post, it'll take out five or six. We're going to see if CJ gets stage right. Which one do you do? There. Uh -oh. sure did.
for the fences that are along the field lines ain't too bad to check we got a lot of rough country too and this is one of our one hauler on the farm but we did a lot of work back on this part last spring and it doesn't look too awfully bad i think we're gonna call the day on the fence work and we're gonna try and catch crazy Looks like it. we got a new one over here. So he's a bull calf, so we'll come back in the morning and band him. Well, I guess we're going to give up for today. We never did find the crazy cow. So she's probably still got him down there in the creek where uh, we left off this morning. So there's really nothing we can do down there anyway. So our plan, we'll wait till the morning uh, when we go feed. And hopefully when we put a round bell out, the mama cow will be hungry. She'll go up and get something to eat. We'll sneak up behind her with the truck. And uh, either me or Van will jump out, grab the calf, do like a swan dive into the back of the truck for some protection and get her that way. Overall, not too bad of a day. We had those complications that you saw this morning, but we ended up with a total of three new casts for today. I think that puts us around 15 or 16 for the year. So that's, I'd consider that a pretty good start, uh, especially with the uh, milder weather that we're having. That's always a good thing. So uh, we moved a little bit of hay and I think we ended up checking, I'll call it two miles of fence. So we'll get up early in the morning, try her again. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to day two of this video. We'll start out the day by hopefully tracking down that crazy cow and her calf, getting them taken care of. And hopefully there'll be four or five new calves this morning. Got a new bull calf, but his mom ain't coming over to claim him, so we don't know who he belongs to. There's number two for the morning, a little bull calf. We're still not sure about that other calf that's by himself. Could possibly be a twin of this one or his mom just worried about eating right now. Be careful, that's a crazy one. All right, you're about to see some live action. Maybe if he gets a truck up here. Get We're trying. It is open. It is open. Come on. Shut that gate.
keep shooting me at that. Right well, now, I put the calf through because she's going to come out of there. Yeah, put the calf through first. Alright guys, it's going to wrap up this video. Overall, it was a pretty uh, good day, and we'll call it a day and a half. Uh, I think we ended up with seven new calves. Finally got a hold of that crazy one and got her calf tag, so that was good. And then we got uh, quite a bit of fence checked over. So I feel like I owe you guys a couple of apologies. Apology number one, sorry for all the heavy breathing. I know that was probably pretty annoying to, to watch and listen to, but unfortunately that's just part of it. Uh, as you can probably see, we cover a lot of ground on foot. And no, we don't need horses. Horses are, they may be okay out west, but around here in the hills and the thickets and the woods, they ain't worth much. Um, apology number two. I know a lot of the, uh, some of the camera shots when we were actually catching and tagging the calves were kind of cut off. So the first couple we did, I was trying to hold the GoPro and that was a no-go. And then I bought some sort of strap on my, to put on my head and hold the GoPro camera and that didn't work out either. So I probably am going to have to hire a separate cameraman. And when I use the word hire, I'm using that pretty loosely. Uh, probably won't be able to pay you much, and truth be told, I won't be able to pay you anything. But as always, uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, and if you got time, hit the like button. Till next time, America.